Right. So, um, hi everyone. This is Kathy Chow Isaacs. I'm on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter at I Wear the Crowns, and I am working through the Python lessons that are available in Minecraft Education Edition. Um, I am currently on lesson five. This is, uh oh, activity two, part two. We're working with the agent, who is this character right here. I'm going to Kind of walk around so you can see my agent. I love my agent. If my agent helps help your agent. Your agent helps you get work done. And in this case, the agent is helping us do some laundry. So, um, okay, so we're on part two. And part two, in part one, we took some dirty laundry, we washed it, and um, brought it back to the start point. That's on that side. Um, but here we have we put the dirty laundry in, but it didn't quite work. So I need to, whoops, oh, I don't know why I can't move. I'm in the wrong place, there we go, because I'm in that zone, can't move anywhere. So I need to go back um, and reset the code so that the dirty laundry is back in its place, I think. Um, well, let me hit C and see what happens. Oh, I wanna put myself up here. Uh, okay, so this was the code that I did and it didn't work. Um, that's at the end of the last video. So I'm just going to hit play to compile the code and say, yeah, there, we need to, it's working. I mean, there is an agent who is spinning 20 times because that's what gets clothes clean. But what happened was there was a dirty like shirt, chest plate, and um, we picked it up we brought it to the washing machine, we washed it. And then when we came back, we put it to the side, but there was no, um, we we didn't pick up the boots that was the, or the leggings. I don't know what they were. I think they were boots. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to the tester. Um, what we need to do is reset the board or reset the um, world. So we're gonna go ahead and say, try again. And there is the dirty uh, tunic. So let's just go ahead and um, replay, whoops, replay what we did. Okay, it's funny, we're in survival, but we're in creative. Okay, so I'm gonna hit C, I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. I'm gonna watch what happens, washing the clothes, gets the clean clothes, comes back, but it doesn't get the boots. Okay, so let's go to the C to go to Code Builder. And what didn't happen? So this happened for I in range three, so we need to set that to do three loads of laundry. That's in the instructions up here. Okay, um, do this and don't forget. Oh, two loops shouldn't have the same variable name. That was the hint. Okay, so um, this is the outside loop. We're gonna call this one J, that should do it. Okay, so for J in range three, that's because it was confused. It did not know what to do. And it probably didn't turn, I don't know if it turned 24 times. Anyway, that will do it well. I forgot about that. So let's go ahead and say play. Oh, now we have to, okay, now we have clean boots. Awesome, and we have some clean pants. Maybe, oh, we're getting it all. There we go, oh, we did it. Okay, so that's really awesome. Let's go look at the code again. Um, that's a great point. So when you have multiple variables or multiple loops, in block-based code, oh, of course, it's not gonna let us look at it. Um, okay, so if you wanna look at code, make sure that before you exit or you test your code that you um, copy and paste it. Oh, that's a bummer that we can't do that. Um, anyway, uh, a good point to remember is that um, like in block-based code, you can just throw as many loops as you want and it, it will know, you know, the code will know uh, that this loop is for this because it's on the outside of the other loop. But when you're working with text-based code, you need to make sure that the variable that indicates how many times the loop is gonna repeat is different so that it doesn't get confused with the nested loop and the outer loop. All right, so great. We are done with activity number two. We're gonna go ahead and go to the next room. We'll do that in the next video. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, bye.